Hello everyone and welcome back to Skilling Minds. Hope you are upskilling yourself with our skilling videos. And today we bring you another hands-on session on EDA univariate analysis. Univariate analysis is the simplest form of analyzing data. Here data has only one variable. Its major purpose is to describe and find patterns in the data. So let's get started with our hands-on session. Welcome to Skilling Minds, where we impart skill knowledge with easy to understand presentations and hands-on sessions. So whether you're a student or a corporate professional or a homemaker or an entrepreneur, adding skills helps you to increase productivity and attain proficiency. Most people delay adding new skills either due to lack of time or resources. But here at Skilling Minds, we will enable you to learn new skills at your own pace that can help you to stay ahead in today's competitive world. So let's jump straight away into today's topic and add a new skill to our portfolio with Skilling Minds. Welcome to today's hands-on session on EDA univariate analysis. So let's get started. Let's name this more appropriately to univariate analysis. Let's begin by calling in the regular libraries. Let's import numpies as np. I'm sure you would have guessed the next one. Import pandas as pd. But to be able to visualize our data through univariate analysis, we need to call in some libraries which will help us to make plots and graphs. So let's start by importing matplotlib.pyplot as plt and also import seaborn as sns both these libraries will help us to visualize graphs as well as plots for our data in context so let me quickly run this and it looks like the libraries are ready to use so the first step that we always do is to pull in the database so let me give that command uh, and name our database as df. So df equals to pd dot read underscore excel in brackets with colon and we'll give the name of your file. So here it, for this example, it is uh, sales data and always remember to give the appropriate extension so once you have done that you can always give the command to look into the head of the data it looks like this order number quantity ordered price each sales order date and so on this is the dummy data that we'll be using to create our univariate analysis graphs and charts let's get started the first one uh, for our univariate analysis we would like to make a histogram so let's see how we do that uh, through seaborn so we give the command as sns dot dist plot stands for distribution plot uh, in brackets we give the name of our file which is df we put 
square in brackets whenever we want to pull in a column. And we also give colons on either side of the column name. Let's say we pull up sales. So I always do this. I always double copy, uh, double click to copy the name, uh, control C, control V, so that I don't make any spelling mistakes uh, while I'm putting in the column name. But you can choose to type as well. Okay. And then at the end, we give a semicolon and we hit enter. So here is our uh, distribution plot or the histogram. And we also see it with the kernel density estimation, which is KDE. So what is KDE? KDE uh, is uh, nothing much more than a way to, you know, visualize the probability uh, density of a continuous variable. So if this is a variable, it starts and it peaks around in the middle and then it has a lot of observations or data or population on the right hand side. It tries to, you know, guide it through the way and give us a probability density of this variable. Now you would notice two things that we would not, you know, want to visualize or you know see in our visualization. Visualization, we might want to, you know, get rid of uh, the KDE. We might also want to, you know, get rid of uh, all these warnings that comes into place. So what we can do is we can go back. I mean, you can use any cell, but I like to, you know, import all the things on one cell. So I give here a command which is uh, import warnings. And with this, I would like to give in a further command, which says warnings dot filter warnings in the bracket, write ignore. So the moment you run this, you come back, and you want to run this again, you see the warnings are gone. So this is how you can ignore the warnings for the moment. Now the next thing that we want to do is we want to get rid of the KDE, which is the kernel density estimation. And let's suppose you want to do that. Uh, you go ahead, copy paste the same thing. But here at the end of the column, put a comma, uh, give the command KDE equals to capital F. And then ALSC, which is false. And once you do that and give the command, you see this curve line, the KDE's line is gone. And your graph is, you know, much more clearer to visualize. And it's an option. It's your choice. If you want it to remain with KDE, you can, you know, go that way. Or if you want to see it without the KDE, you can also do that. Uh, just a moment of observation here. You see uh, there are a lot of data points on the right hand side, uh, which is you know forming a long tail. So we can say this, uh, this is a right skewed data, uh, or we can also say this is you know positively skewed uh, because most of the observations you know fall on the right side uh, of this graph. Another uh, very commonly used uh, graph to visualize univariate analysis uh, is the box plot. So let's see how we can put in a box plot here. So let's follow the same pattern. SNS dot uh, block box plot. Uh, then you give a bracket, we write the name of your file. And we remember that for column, we have to use square brackets. Uh, we go here. We want to, again, it out on sales. So we go here, we copy paste the sales column. Let's give a comma and let's see what happens. There is it. There it's your uh, box plot and uh, we can see uh, the median right here. This is the center line is the median. And then you see distributions on uh, the left hand side and you see the distributions on the right hand side. And plus, you see a lot of uh, you know data points which are coming out of the whiskers. So all these data points uh, which are coming outside the whiskers are you know your outliers, uh, and we see there are you know quite a few uh, 
or in this particular box plot. You can do similarly, you know, you can put it for any other column you wish to. You can use the same command if you don't want to look at sales. Let's say you want to uh, look at uh, some other column, uh, which could be something like, you know, quantity ordered. So call, copy the column name, uh, remove the sales, replace it by, you know, quantity ordered. Good command, and you know this comes for your column, which is quantity ordered. In a similar manner, uh, you would see the distribution. You will see some of the outliers. Uh, and this is also one of the most uh, uh, commonly uh, used uh, graphical representation uh, for univariate analysis. So, what does the box plot tell us? What are we visualizing? So typically, a box plot will give you, you know, three kinds of quartiles, or let's say three quartiles of the distribution, which are along the extreme values. And then you have these uh, whiskers that extend to point uh, that lie within uh, 1.5 uh, interquartile ranges of the lower and the upper quartile. So this whisker here on the left hand side would you know, indicate uh, the perspective of the lower range and the uh, whisker on the right hand side typically represents the uh, you know upper range of the upper you know quartile and uh, as i mentioned already uh, the central line is the medium and then you have values you know plotted and distributed across and uh, definitely these are you know your extreme uh, outliers which are falling uh, much above the upper uh, extended arm of the whisker uh, in this particular graph. Okay, so for univariate analysis, both uh, the distribution plot or the histogram and the box plot uh, are commonly used to represent uh, data, and it's easier to uh, you know visualize them uh, for one variable uh, in this manner. With this, uh, I would like to conclude today's hands-on session on idiot univariate analysis. Thanks. If you like this video, then please go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe Skilling Minds. Leave us a comment on which skill video would you like to watch next. Also, press the bell notification button so that you are informed as soon as we upload a new skill video. Till then, take care and bye.